What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and we are going to do a real quick intro before we get to the fishing on this week's video. I just wanna go over a couple things before we get to the actual fishing part of the video. First off, uh, this is the 52nd video we've done this year, and for those of you keeping score at home, that means we've done a video every single weekend in the uh, year of 2020, given all the craziness that's happened all around us this year. Uh, that was a goal of mine, uh, so I feel uh, good about getting a video out every Saturday morning, 8.30 Central Standard Time, for you guys to enjoy, and that is a, a big deal for me, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. In fact, since August 3rd of 2019, I've had a video every weekend. Again, just a, a goal I set for myself. Uh, I'm not doing this full time, this is just something I do for fun, so uh, trying to work it around family, a wife, kid, make time for them and still have time to do this. It gets to be a little bit of a chore, but uh, I enjoy this so much and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. So that was a big deal for me this year. And if you would be so kind to hit the subscribe button, help me out that way too. We are creeping up on 5,000 subscribers. We've got a little ways to go yet, but uh, any little bit helps. So thank you everyone. I appreciate you watching. The second thing I wanted to talk about is this video, Robbie Jarnigo and I, uh, Robbie from Today's Angler, of course, we are out floating a river up in northern Wisconsin, and Robbie has a bait that we are a little bit coy about showing because at the time it wasn't ready for uh, production and to get out there to the general public. But that is not the case now. We have the brand new Lee Lures Pelagic Swim Bait. This is an 8 inch. There's a 10 inch as well. I think Robbie in the video was using the 10 inch, uh, this same basic pattern. Uh, but this is a really cool new bait from our friend at uh, Lee Talcon at Lee Lures. And again, the Pelagic Swim, eight and 10 inch. It's a really cool bait. It's got a, it's a hard front end of it based on Lee's Pelagic crankbait that you might be familiar with. The back end of it is either a six or an eight inch depending on the size of the lure. Uh, it's a Lunker City tail, so you can exchange these tails out very easily. So if this gets chewed up, it doesn't ruin the bait. You can just pop a new one on. And I'll leave a link in the description below to go to Lee's website and you can check this out. And if you have any questions, you can direct them uh, at him on Facebook, I'm sure. But anyway, a little bit more about this. Uh, Chaos Tackle, three out hooks on the eight inch, on the 10 inch. I believe there's a five and a four aught, the Chaos Tackle Trident hooks, epoxy coated, I mean, the same quality you would expect from Lee and Lee Lures baits. Uh, it's uh, second to none, man. These are fantastic baits. I was lucky enough to see them in action a couple of times fishing with Robbie uh, this summer, so this is a really cool bait. It does a lot of stuff. It has a lot of movement in the water. It hunts quite a bit. You can use it as a pull bait. I mean, it does just about everything. And it's got that paddle tail on the back. So a really cool bait that you guys will be able to check out for the 2021 muskie season coming up here. Those are the two things I wanted to discuss with you guys before we get into the actual fishing content of the video here. Again, thank you everyone so much for watching. I can't, I can't thank you enough. This is, this is so much fun. I get such a kick out of making the videos and I just, I love the fact that somebody out there is watching them. Uh, I, it's a real treat for me. So thank you everyone. Let's get into the fishing. Nothing like having September weather in November here in the Northwoods. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I am in the north woods of Wisconsin with my very good buddy, Robbie Jarnigo. <laughs> How's it going guys? From today's Angler YouTube channel. Oh, one of one of the best fishing channels oh, on, no. on the YouTube. Look at her beard. Yeah, we've got matching I'm beards. I'm gonna be <laughs> Brian soon. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be a fat old guy pretty quick here, folks. <laughs> Well, so what we are doing today is, I came up here, I didn't even bring my boat. This is the first time I've ever been to northern Wisconsin and not brought my crest liner. And I don't even have a boat anymore. And he doesn't have a boat. So it would seem that we're boatless, folks. 
but we have rivers up here. We've got a small little uh, flat bottom boat that my buddy Nate has at his cabin. Uh, you may have seen that on some other videos uh, that we've done here in northern Wisconsin. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's this is a blast. I am I'm so enamored with this river float yeah, stuff. It's addicting. That uh, I came up here for, I'm going to be up here for four days and I'm just going to do nothing but river floats. It's the first part of November. Don't fall in. It's, we'll try not to. <laughs> There's a couple times we're probably going to have to jump in to pull the boat. Yeah, but, uh, yep. um yeah, the, this is crazy weather. It's it's 70 degrees and it's the first part of November here. Um, but yeah. I it guess. hasn't been good. It so hasn't been good. <laughs> this week has absolutely sucked on lakes. So <laughs> hopefully this uh, river deal is going to be uh, a good idea because fishing current, they got to eat. They got to eat. All right, well, let's go find out if they're going to eat. All right, everybody, I'm in the Northwoods, and as per usual, I'm throwing a 8-inch Kodiak Navin. We'll see uh, how this works on this river. I know Nathan got one on a Kodiak Navin last time. On a SWAT, uh, 400 tranks, that's what I'm rocking. Robbie's got sort of the same uh, rod and reel setup, but exactly. uh, the exact same setup, but but the the bait is sort of top secret. So. Yeah, Couple so, more months. Couple more months. We're going to leave it in the water now, but uh, <laughs> something to look forward to from Lee Lures and today's angler. So that is what we've got rocking, folks. Let's do it. <laughs> Fish. Oh, nice. Nice. Awesome. Gosh, they fight so hard. Gosh, you are mean. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I cannot keep my button down. All righty. Hold the plane. Oh, yeah. Hell oh, yeah, Brad. That was a high five fist bump trying high not to fall in. Hey, where's our anchor to deal with this fish, right? Let's not talk about Let's that, not Roberto. Talk about that. Yeah, this guy's anchoring in a rapid spot. Stupid idea, I know. We thought about it when we were doing it. Awesome. Well, here's fish that. There are where you got the Ipex from. There are uh, yeah, pliers. pliers. So, yeah. Um, that's cool. Well, the nice part is, is if the wind will hold us right here. Oh, yeah, we're good. Dude, that's a nice little fish. Yeah. All right, everybody, we are on the board. The start has not been great. Uh, we lost an anchor because we're we're new at this. We <laughs> anchored in a spot we probably shouldn't have. Uh, so we might have to find a rock to tie a rope to. Uh, but as of right now, we're just kind of drifting and Robbie has a nice fish in the net. Let's take a look at it. All righty, let's take a look at this guy. We gotta get fast. This shoreline looks so flipping looks good. So good. So let's deal with this guy. Dang, that water is cold. He didn't act like it though. That's awesome. I love these river fish. Look at those lines on it. This is a really pretty musky. Oh, can't. It's been a while since I got a nice little river musky. I guess it hasn't been that long, but so cool. We got a fish on the board. He's getting twitchy. Get him back and get casting again. Gosh, look at those spots on the bottom. I just love that. Those are really cool, aren't they? Those are fun. Yeah, I think you're good. You definitely look like you need a meal there, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a good start. About half hour in, and uh, we got a fishing boat. Well, this is the healthy part. You should see the bag of candy I have in there. <laughs> from Trick or Treat? Yes. Perfect. I may or may not have stole it from my son. <laughs> it's okay. We don't judge you. Yeah. Coming up here on the left-hand side, you see that, like, the mm -hmm. the brown grass? Yep. Where it ends, it's where I lost a big one, and Nate caught a fish on an avon last time. Okay. So, hopefully... <laughs> I 
All right, folks. Well, Robbie's had lunch. I've had lunch. Then this is my uh, this is the culinary delight of a dessert. A hey, uh, what is this? Is a strawberry shortcake roll. How exciting! I'm sure it's terrible for me, <laughs> but it tastes delicious. All right, ladies and gents, we've gone a little ways here, and uh, Robbie's got a fish, but we've only seen the one. So here's a quick tour of what we're fishing out of. This is a 14 foot, I don't know if you can see it very well, but 14 foot flat bottom boat, perfect for rivers. Yeah, for it's perfect for going over those big giant rocks like that. Uh, it only drafts a couple inches of water. Obviously the oars, uh, try to keep it light on the baits. I've got, you know, just one, one Lakewood box there. Robbie's got a Plano box, one rod each, of course have a, life jacket a piece this comes in handy the throwable i mean it's nice to have it plus you can kneel on it if you have to use it for that sort of thing let's see back here well that's stuff most people wouldn't have camera junk and we got our one camera back here net bump board but uh you try to keep it pretty light when you're doing this stuff folks well folks welcome to me and robbie's world we got a late start. We're probably gonna be out here probably a little bit after dark. The boat's filling up with water. Thank goodness we caught at least one muskie because we haven't seen anything since. And uh, it's not good. As of this point, as long as the boat doesn't sink, knock on wood, we should be okay, but uh, we'll see. All right, folks, well, uh, we have a little ways to go yet. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Hopefully we make it back. <laughs> I think we should. We, think we've so. gotten through the worst of the uh, rapids, if you can call them that. I mean, yep. there's this stretch isn't really that dangerous, but you do, you have to be careful. Um, so we're past that. We're in a spot that we haven't really caught many fish in when we've done this previously anyway. So uh, from here on out, it's just uh, we're trying to beat <laughs> the, the darkness light. that is slowly Coming. encroaching upon us. But very cool. We got one fish. Robbie got a, a beautiful little fish. Um, didn't see nearly as many as, as we were hoping to, but uh, it's, yeah, it is what it is. you know, to be able to come out in November like this and enjoy a beautiful day Same. and catch um, a muskie and catch a muskie and these river floats i have said it once i'll say it again uh this is my new favorite thing to do yeah. i really enjoy doing this for for muskies especially but i've done it for smallmouth uh in southern wisconsin yep. um so yeah with that uh we're gonna get rowing because we really need to <laughs> get back and uh maybe have not, some dinner yeah and yeah not, that sounds good yeah <laughs> let's do that all right thank you so much folks for watching hey you know what check out today's angler if you haven't already <laughs> give them a sub check out their videos some of the best musky fishing and fishing content on the youtubes uh, so do that and thank you everyone for watching we'll see you on the next video <laughs>